Cell growth and division are divided into phases. Cells grow during the G1 phase and the genome replicates during the S phase. During the G2 phase, cells continue to grow and prepare for cell division. During the M phase, mitosis occurs. Cytokinesis, C, is the phase when the cytoplasm divides, creating two daughter cells. Three principal checkpoints control the cell cycle in eukaryotes. The G1 checkpoint makes the key decision as to whether the cell should divide, delay division, or enter a resting stage. The G2 checkpoint assesses the success of DNA replication and triggers the start of the mitosis, M, phase. If this checkpoint is passed, the cell initiates the beginning of mitosis. The accuracy of mitosis is assessed at the M checkpoint. This checkpoint occurs during metaphase and triggers the exit from mitosis and cytokinesis and the beginning of G1. At the G2 checkpoint, cyclin-dependent kinases, CDKs, phosphorylate histones and proteins that carry the cycle past the checkpoint into mitosis. During G2, the cell gradually accumulates G2 cyclin, also called mitotic cyclin. The cyclin binds to CDK to form a complex called MPF, mitosis promoting factor. When the level of MPF exceeds the threshold necessary to trigger mitosis, the G2 phase ends and mitosis begins. One of many functions of MPF is to activate proteins that destroy cyclin. As mitosis proceeds to the end of metaphase, CDK levels stay relatively constant, but G2 cyclin is degraded, causing progressively less MPF to be available and initiating the events that end mitosis. After mitosis, the gradual accumulation of new cyclin starts the next turn of the cell cycle. The G1 checkpoint is thought to be regulated in a similar fashion. The level of G1 cyclin increases and associates with cyclin-dependent kinase, CDK. Eventually, a threshold ratio that triggers the next round of DNA replication is reached. The cyclin is degraded and the cycle begins again.